Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And in this episode I'm planning to go and get some more lava from the village over there. Um, I looked in my chest and uh, right here and it looks like I have this bucket here. And I also have the water bucket right here which I will empty. And I'm going to go grab some more lava from the closest village that I can find. I think I go to that village over there. Um, and as some of you know, my regular watchers, we've had kind of a rough episode last episode. A creeper actually blew up the shaft right there when I tried to make it into an XP grinder. Uh, now let me just turn down the sound because this is just crazy. They're too loud. Um, yeah, anyway, so a creeper just blew up the shaft right here and um, I had a bunch of mobs running around in my encasement. So that was really great. So... Uh, let me just run back to that village over there just to make sure that there's no uh, more lava in the blacksmith over there. I th I'm, I'm fairly sure there's not, and I think I did take all of it, so let's just make sure. Uh, well, I do have a lava source here, but I don't want to destroy it because, well, I mean, I don't want to take it because this is a lava source that I might sometime need in the future because this is just my second base of operations. So anyway, now I'm going to go to that village over there, and we shouldn't waste daytime because... Um, because day is ending soon, and it it's about midday as of now, so I'm going to rearrange my inventory a bit, or should I not? Well, I don't really need torches, so, um, looks like I have to, I'm going to collect some mob drops from here that I got, because, uh, and yes, I'm going to now go and head out onto the journey, go into my... I'm sorry about that, I think my headset glitched out. Uh, yeah, anyway, well, it got disconnected, so I had to cut filming. And now that I'm in the middle of the tunnel, I have to lure the slimes back in here so I can outrun them later. So, let's just run as fast as we can and then get out of here. I'm making sure the slimes don't get us. This is exactly why I made this type of enclosure, so that slime over there wouldn't be able to get me, so... Um, I'll just run adjacent to these blocks over here that mark the area where the village is. Um, I'm going to grab and get the two um, the two lava sources that are spawned in that village over there. And wow, there's quite a bit of slime spawnage here. Um, and as our base disappears into the unloaded chunks, we're supposed to be seeing the village fairly soon. So, anyway, the reason that I need lava is because I want to make more obsidian, so eventually we could go to the nether, probably. And I'm thinking of what to do. I can either go and um, make obsidian out of the lava sources, or what I can do is I can get more redstone string or something like that, so I can... Um, do the infinite obsidian glitch and as you can see since we're in minecraft 1.7.10 that glitch hasn't been patched yet so that's what i think i'm gonna do i'm going to uh, use the obsi infinite obsidian glitch that uses redstone or string i actually tried doing it with string in um, creative and i think it didn't work i think it needs to be connected to tripwire to work with string um, so anyway, we'll just have to look at that sometime. Uh, another thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to actually encase some of the villager villagers here just to make sure that they don't die out. Um, I'm going to do that with dirt because that's my most cheapest material. Now let's just hope he doesn't run off. Um, okay, maybe we can make a 2x2 two two in closing for him. Um, now that should be able to protect him against any zombies or something like that. Now let's just encase this one right here. Oh, this is a fairly useful villager, but I don't really have any emeralds for bread, so um, this is not a very useful one either, but I will still encase him just because, just to make sure that um, I have a good supply of villagers. Uh, because it's, I don't want I don't want to have to go and get gold for golden apples to cure villagers. Uh, and oh, it's great that you came over because I can encase you here too. Uh, so like I said, I wouldn't want to have to... Um, I just placed that uh, accidentally. I want to eat some carrots right now. Um, like I said before, I don't want to actually... Um, I don't want to go to the uh, nether to get some... They're so loud. I don't want to go to the nether to... Oh, we need the priest. We need the priest. Uh, I don't want to go to the nether to get... 
um, gold for golden apples because I would prefer that I actually... Okay. Wait, we haven't explored this yet? How come not? Oh, I see that we have an iron ingot, so that means that we might be able to do the obsidian glitch with the tripwire. Um, so anyway, like I said, I don't want to have to go to the nether to acquire some more... Uh, some so, some gold so I can make golden apples. I don't want to do that, and that's why I'm just putting the villagers inside these encasements here, just so in case all of the villagers die out, I'd use them for the breeder villagers. So, um, let me just grab the lava right here. Two sources. Uh, now I'm gonna place it straight into my inventory here just to make sure I don't accidentally kill myself. And that's actually no matter how professional. Oh wow, we need that. We need this villager. Um, so like I said, no matter how professional you think you are in Minecraft, no matter how long you played Minecraft, running around with a bunch of... Um, running around with a bunch of lava buckets isn't the best thing to do, because you can die very easily like that, so... I don't recommend it. Okay, looks like I can case this one. I think I'm gonna break this so I can better in case him. Uh, I'm also going to enter inside. Okay, let's just knock this back a bit while we go inside here. Um, I will also encase some of the villagers inside here, and they can't get out of here anymore. Uh, I might as well take the door, because, you know, who needs the door? Um, yeah, we're kind of running out of inventory space right now. It's great that we have gotten that iron sword now. Uh, now, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm probably going to... Uh, probably going to close this area here just to make sure that no zombies come down from there and believe me it can happen I'm gonna take some stairs here just so it'll be easier to lock them in um, just to make sure that zombies don't accidentally spawn in here I think I am going to still encase them a bit something like so or that um, now they can't get out okay I can see that one jumping well, that's great, because I can come and encase him as well, right here as well. Um, and all I have to do is just, I'm gonna light this area up just to make sure no mobs spawn. Um, I'm taking good care of the villagers, because that's where most of my supply of um, rare items will come from, so... Uh, well, looks like I kinda ran out of all of the dirt that I had, so... We'll just hope that they don't die or anything. Uh, I'll just destroy this right here. Okay, what just happened? Oh, that just glitched out. Uh, and now I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna probably get out of here as soon as possible because night is falling, and we know what happens when night comes in a, in a village. All the villagers get start to be eaten up. Um, so, yep. Let's just place that here. Uh, just because I don't like dark places, I'm gonna light up this area as well. I'll maybe just put one torch around here. Um, okay, there's a plethora of slimes around here. And the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Yeah, this is not working out. I'm going to evacuate as soon as I can. I was going to take those little... Um, those... Those iron gate thingies, but... Um, the slime prevented me from doing it. Okay, now where is, um... Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go. So, I'd say that in general, it was... This was pretty successful because I did manage to encase many useful villagers, including some blacksmiths and um, some priests, a librarian, some farmers. I did manage to get two lava sources. I also uncovered a second chest that I did not for some reason. I don't know how I actually missed that chest there. Um... So I think there's also two more lava sources there, so uh, when I get back to my base, I think I'm going to make, like, a pool of lava, because I don't have much... Okay, let me just eat. Okay, you know what? I actually want to kill the witch, because actually witches are very useful for me, and I'm really... I really need more redstone, so... Okay, that dropped... That dropped some, uh, sticks, and I don't need that. Okay, maybe we could get some golden armor as a rare drop. Nope, we didn't get any, so... 
I'm not gonna go get those sticks because, well, who wants sticks? You know, I already have a big wood farm, so that's not gonna be needed. Um, if I find any more witches or something like that, I will kill them because I am in desperate need of uh, redstone. And I was thinking about what I'm planning to do with redstone builds in this episode. Uh, no, I mean in this series. And I came to the conclusion that I'm actually gonna make an AFK cobblestone generator from my uh, video tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen that video tutorial, go to my channel, and it should be somewhere there. I called it, yes, we're now in the safety of our home. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen the tutorial on how to make uh, an AFK um, cobblestone generator uh, without the use of hoppers, uh, please go to my channel and check that out. It's a very great way to make cobblestone uh, AFKing without actually having to have hoppers that spit out and circle the uh, pickaxes around. And my my design is actually automatic and it does integrate redstone. Um, it has about five hours of AFKing um, before the nine pickaxes run out, so, um, you can get as much as nine stacks of cobblestone from it, so it's a quite efficient generator if you don't have access to iron, and since I do not have access to iron in this series, that's what I'm probably going to build. Um, in addition to that, I want to build an automatic, um, flower and, uh, seed generator, and that will, that will have, um, that will require some pistons, um, well, actually, no, it won't require pistons. It will require um, a dispenser, which requires redstone. Um, uh, another water bucket, which once again requires uh, iron, but I think I could sacrifice one bucket for that. Um, and it will automatically kind of... Um, periodically on a redstone clock it will dispense some bone meal and then it will create some flowers on the ground and then it will flush them with water which drops them as an item and if I ever get an iron farm going then I'm probably going to fully automize it with hoppers and everything so uh, and when I do get hoppers I will make an extremely efficient uh, automatic cobblestone generator that um, has hoppers with it so um, but the first thing that I'm planning to do is I'm planning to do to make an uh, fully well not a fully automatic but a semi-automatic food farm slash bone meal dispenser so I can get rid of this large farm here and um, unfortunately I only have one redstone so and I will need much more than that I think I need around 12 or so to make one such farm so um, yeah I do need redstone that's why I like to kill the witches when I see them so um, thank you very much for watching. This was episode 9 of uh, Minecraft Vanilla Superfot Survival. Um, as far as off-camera work goes, I'm probably going to... Oh, actually, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to probably... I'm going to test out a concept right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably take this... I'm going to encase an area right here. Um... I'm gonna place I'm going to place some uh, actually I think I'll do that off camera because I have to figure out exactly what I'm supposed to do I'm thinking of turning this one iron ingot into one of those um into a uh, into a trip wire hook so that I can make um, the obsidian generator without actually having to use redstone because I need redstone very much for other applications but of course for that to make an automatic well, to make a semi-automatic uh, infinite obsidian generator I will need some redstone too so I could make one that's not automatic so um, I will do some camera some off work some camera off work and I'll cut down those trees which is really great that I have these trees I'm also going to build a system of um, boat canals of rapid boat canals and for that I will need much more wood so I will keep on cutting down those these trees that grow um, wow there's quite a bit of mobs so uh, thank you very much for watching this was episode 9 of Minecraft Vanilla Superfod Survival this is mine Kralix see you see everybody see you in the next video